Hi, this is James Melendez, James a Wine Guy, here to share this bottle with you today. This is a bottle of Sofort Winery, Bishop Creek Vineyard 2009 Vintage. It's Yamhill Carlton AVA, and this is 13.5% alcohol content, and I'm turning the back panel around. It's um, a lot of packed information in here, but I like it. It's well organized, a uh, snapshot of food wine pairing, and here you see an indicator of characteristics of the wine, a UPC, and the QR code, which I love. Now... I love even more is the characteristics of this wine. I started, I opened this up, I let it breathe, I did some pre-tasting, jotted down a few notes, and I just thought this is just a stellar, stunning wine. And I think for me, Pinot Noir is one of these wines where I think it has to hone in on some characteristics before I can say, and, and something that, that the palate must decide whether it's it's that, that wine that you're just envisioning. And this is that wine, and it's hard to get. Sometimes Pinot Noir, for me, it's enjoyable, but it's not at the maximum enjoyment um, zone. And I think for me, I really am seeking notes that are not just sour or bitter, I, or not even bitter, but just the sour notes or the tart notes, which are, are, are sometimes lauded. Some people really enjoy that. And it's not that I don't enjoy that. I do enjoy a, a dry wine, but I like some complexity to that. I like the flavor characteristics to really sing the praise of this area. And it really does so. So um, just talking about Yamhill. Carlton Aviata is part of the Willamette Valley, just in case you're wondering. Now, I'll take a little taste of this, and uh, I, uh, I'm, I, I would definitely suggest on this one, really uh, just enjoy the scent of this wine. Put nose in glass and just really just delve into it, and um, it, I think it's really necessary to get a full enjoyment and a snapshot of this wine. So here we go. Beautiful notes on this wine. I love that it's not that characteristic um, tart Pinot Noir. It's on the opposite spectrum. It's on the spectrum of how what I'm seeking. Um, what I think a lot of people do seek, actually. Um, they're, they're seeking that complexity, that nuanced capability and characteristic. I'm getting notes on this of, of game, maitake mushroom, uh, getting notes of cherry, early season cherry, getting notes of raspberry, lavender, eucalyptus, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of a dash of chili ancho. So that's quite a, a number of um, descriptors on this wine, but yet it seems to match that. And, and each of these flavors are, are coming out in a sequence. They're not just hitting you all at one time. I think it's a beautiful wine. And it gives us a 9.5 out of a 10.0 scale. For more reviews, please go to jameswineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and Google+. Salud.